Well, hello there, people, and happy holidays and New Year's and all of that shit. I just want to do one of those obligatorical, is that the word, videos about my favorite distros of 2021. I think that's the right here, and also my white banners. And all. I just had some problems with my webcam. I had to basically replug it in and out. Reboot it again. This is not like, this is number one, this is number two, you know, in all, it's just like, these are the... The distributions that I loved using in 2021. I, I could say one is number one and one is number two. You know, one is better than the other. They are all distributions that if you said to me, Kent, you fat bastard, you just have to run one distribution for the whole of 2022. Which one would it be? It would be one of those distributions here. So, Mantiao. Mantiao has just been massively stable for me. I had no problem with it. It, it, it. It's just worked. And if I can even open up the, the terminal here. If there's any updates, so we have something to do while I'm talking. It has just been there. It's been stable. It's been working. I have had no problems with it. And you will see a, a, a common theme here, and that is cinnamon. I really, really dig the cinnamon desktop uh, in 2021. But yeah, I I, um, I just love using it. They, they, there's not really been much about it here. I've been talking about the BTIFS file system. It's just been a steady fucking workhorse for me, man. I know a lot of people are having problems with Mantiao. Every distribution will have or give people problems depending on their hardware and what the fuck they're doing with it and what their expectations are and what their goals are. But Mantiao is just not a problem. Honestly, not a problem. Not, not an update that broke anything. Not uh, a program I couldn't get. Uh, we have, of course, the, the, the uh, Yay AUR that you can go in here and use. I've had a really, really good, massive, fun experience with Manjaro. I, I, so good that I've been actually thinking about mailing it in 2022. So let's go on to the next one. So I have to shut this down. And while it's booting up here, yeah, it's OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I fucking love OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. As far as it, as a rolling release a la arts goes, you know, you get the latest and greatest. Open source of Tumbleweed, and you just saw a fucking bug here that, that I get uh, with Pantheon. I need to reboot it because the Pantheon desktop crashes the first time you boot up. I'll make a video about that in my conclusions of running the Pantheon desktop on Open source of Tumbleweed. And that, that again, that has nothing to do with this. It, it, I've been running Cinnamon on Open source for quite a while now. Actually, most of this year on, um, on a VM. And I love running Open source. It, it, again, it has just worked. I have had no problem with it, I, and I'm testing out the Pantheon desktop on it, and it's also been really, really good, but most most of the year I have been running Cinnamon on it. It's... Arts is stable, don't get me wrong. The AUR, depending on what packages you're using. But just the fact that I can get anything I need under OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, I don't have to use the AUR. I actually are using Pac-Man that has some form of... What are you calling it? Um... Quality control to it. That's the word I'm looking for. That is the user repository, uh, Pac-Man. And there are other user repositories if you go on to OpenSUSE uh, software that you can enable to get different versions, more up-to-date uh, versions of packages. It's Zipper or Cypher, however you pronounce it, you know, their command line tool here. Uh, I, d I don't even have that uh, used, so sudo. We can do a... Uh update here uh oh it's locked because i'm using i have this one open here it's just amazing it, it's fucking amazing uh, the way you can handle repositories and stuff like that with it i love this i i actually have not run vanilla arts i have endeavor OS installed but i have not run endeavor OS that much because when i want the rolling release experience and i want kind of the pleading edge double read I've not had an update breaking. I have not had any problems with it. Manchao is holding. Uh, it's not that aggressive with the updates because they do a little bit more testing and stuff like that. But uh, Tumbleweed, if if you want the art experience but less hassle and and better tooling in a distribution, Open Source that is. For me, Arch Linux is the Wiki and the Pac-Man Package Manager. That's all Arch is for me. I can get the same experience with the install of OpenSUSE. I have a video on, on how to install OpenSUSE, meaning having the same control over the packages that you install with OpenSUSE as Arts. Go dig that up on my um, channel. I will probably have a link to it down below. 
Open source or just do it in a GUI where you can deselect and select and customize every fucking thing you want where arch links just make you do it in a command line. So it's just what floats your boat. Let's look at the next one. And the next one that's booting up right now. Good old Pop OS. It's not old, but <laughs> it's Pop OS. If I want to run any Ubuntu based distribution, I automatically jump into Pop OS. Pop OS is Ubuntu done right, and I have a video about is Pop OS the new Ubuntu, and I think it is. I massively love this distribution. I love what they're doing with GNOME or their version of GNOME called Cosmic, what their plans are, the way they're doing their updates, how they are handling software, uh, their software philosophies. Oh, it's because it's doing an update. It will work itself out in a second here. I, I again, I, I fucking just love it. it it's, it's amazing. Didn't it? Why didn't it start up Firefox? Oh, there it got. It went again. It's a workhorse. It works. It, it it's it's amazing. And is it great for gaming? I don't know. Probably it probably is. It is, however, mostly focused on the STEM industry. If you don't know what STEM stands for, look that up. It's actually really really interesting. Little rant here. The STEM people kind of need the same as the gamers. They need the kind of the same computer spe uh, specifications. So that's why it's also good for gaming. They, they are now doing NVIDIA testing in-house to make sure that you don't get a regression when you're installing and updating NVIDIA drivers and stuff like that, which is fucking amazing. I honestly believe if you want Ubuntu, but you don't want native Ubuntu, you want something like Elementary OS, um, Mints, Sorian, and, and stuff like that, go with Pop OS. You will, you will have the best experience, and just like with Manjao, people are having problems with it. Tumbleweed people people will have problem with it. Some people will just have problem with some distributions because of their hardware or what they are going to do. Nothing is 100% perfect. But for me, this is definitely one of the best experiences I have had running Ubuntu. Heck, I would even say this is one of the best experiences I had this year running Linux. It's actually really, really good. Let's look at the, the next one and the final one. Fedora. I don't know what it is about Fedora. I just love Fedora, but Fedora for me, uh, I most mostly see it as a workstation. It is called workstation. If if I had oh shit, I need to enable non-lock. If I had a laptop or a computer that what the fuck, what's going on here? Can I I can't remember my own password now. If if I had a computer or a laptop where I was like, this is just for coding. This is just for productivity. I more than likely would either go with Pop OS or Fedora. Because Fedora as a workhorse is amazing. Aggressive updating, it just fucking works. I, I, this install you see right here is actually the updated version from 24 to 20, oh, not 24, from 34 to 35. I think that's the current release. But anyway, it's from the previous release to the release that they're on right now. No upgrade problems whatsoever. It just worked. And again, I'm using cinnamon. I'm, I'm on a cinnamon kick right now. I I don't know what it is about Fedora. I just really, really like it. And I, I've been liking it for a couple of years now. And I've been testing out a lot of different software on it. I install the software center here. To figure out what's going on. Uh, you know, how GNOME software works with Fedora and stuff like that. It's been massively stable for me. I honestly believe, and they probably won't do it, but I honestly believe that for those, this should just become arts. You know, rolling release, that's it. This point releases, almost, I, I don't get it with Fedora. Just become a rolling release already. They, they, yeah, just become a rolling release. If Fedora was a rolling release, I, I probably would take Fedora over... Like, if Fedora was a full... It, it, they're calling it a semi-rolling release because some packages are rolling, some are not. But if they became a full-blown rolling release, I could see myself actually using Fedora over Tumbleweed for, uh, uh, when or if I want a rolling release, like a real rolling release, not a semi-rolling release. Because I think they would do it better than Tumbleweed, to be honest. I, I really, really think they would. It, it oozes stability for me. It oozes quality for me. Again, people are having problems with it. Any distribution, there will be people having problems with it. I will keep saying this too. 
make sure that someone is not like, oh, but I can't get it to work on this computer, on this computer. Well, yeah, well, nothing is perfect in this world. So yeah, you, maybe that's not what you, the distribution for you then. And I really, really like this Fedora magazine here. A lot of interesting articles. I actually learned a lot reading these. I sometimes just log into Fedora to read the Fedora magazine. And it's not Fedora specific. They are talking about programs, gaming, programming, development, and stuff like that. And you could take that experience with you over to your favorite distribution of choice. But yeah, th these are the distributions I have had the best experience with running this year. And all for different reasons. Yeah. Anyway, see you all later. What is your favorite distributions of 2021? Bye-bye.